Welcome again, dear friends, to the Friday edition of Fresh Bread. Hey, it's Friday, April 29th, 2022. Beautiful week so far. Hasn't it just been gorgeous outside? My goodness, just love the spring in Kansas. Don't have the extreme heat and the humidity and all the bugs and the mosquitoes that we a lot of times get. So it's a great time to be outside. Hopefully you've been able to get out and enjoy yourself. If you've been able to do that, I know you have enjoyed it. And again, I do thank you for joining me today on Fresh Bread. This again is Reverend Phil Anderson here, pastor of Oakwood United Methodist Church and Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church right here in the capital city of Topeka, Kansas. Well, we're keeping these a little bit shorter these days, seeing how it goes. And so uh, let's dive right into some more scripture. This is a verse that I just absolutely love. It's something we need to go back to, uh, I believe, from time to time. And it has to do with what God is going to do for us. And he is promised us. So let's look at Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11 and verse 12. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Verse 13 says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. And verse 14, I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. Friends, it may seem sometimes like we're in exile. We can just feel like everything has just kind of fallen apart. We look around the world so many times, things just seem to be so different. At the rate things are going, you just wonder what's going to be left. But you know what? Our faith will be left. Nothing will ever be able to separate us from the love of Christ that we have in, and from the love of God that we experience in Christ Jesus. Nothing can take that love of Christ away from us. So no matter how things change, focus on Christ. Let the other stuff go. You can't do anything about it anyway, really, for the most part. Do what you can do. Do all you can do. Don't do more than you can do. Don't do less than you can do. Just do all you can do and leave the results to God. He will get you through whatever it is that you're going through. We pray that you'll have a great Friday. We'll be back tomorrow for the weekend edition of Fresh Bread. Until then, God bless you. Have a great day.